Hey, what's up? It's Hugo here. Welcome to another one of my Mac OS 10 quick tips. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to use AirDrop through Ethernet. So uh, for you guys that don't want to use Wi-Fi, you can actually use Ethernet to use AirDrop. So let me go to my AirDrop right now in my finder here. And as you can see, I have to turn on Wi-Fi if I want to use AirDrop. So I'm going to show you guys how to change that and use it through Ethernet uh, to be able to share files to all the computers that are connected to uh, your network. Uh, whether it's through Wi-Fi or Ethernet, but do keep in mind if you want to share through Ethernet to another computer That's also connected through Ethernet You have to do exactly the same procedure on that computer as well So let me show you guys how to do this. It's pretty simple I'll be leaving a line of code in the description of this video so you can simply copy paste it. It's much faster than typing it all out uh, Go ahead and copy that line of code I have it right here in a little text document So I'm gonna go ahead and copy it and open up my terminal app So just simply go into your uh, spotlight and look for terminal and it should look something like this. And uh, once it's all launched up, you simply want to go ahead and paste uh, that line of code in the terminal. So that's pretty much all you have to do. If you're on a user that is not an administrator on your Mac, you will have to have the administrator password to do this, uh, most probably. Uh, other than that, it should uh, just be no problem. So once you've done that, you actually need to log out of your Mac and log back in because right now you'll notice if I go to my airdrop, uh, it will still be exactly the same. So go ahead and log off and log back into your Mac and uh, you'll be able to use AirDrop through Ethernet. So there I am, I quickly logged off and logged back into my Mac, and uh, let's see if I can use AirDrop without having Wi-Fi enabled. So let's go to my Finder here and click on AirDrop, and you'll notice that right away I'll have, uh, I find my uh, MacBook Pro, which are actually behind me, uh, and that one is connected to Wi-Fi right now, uh, although uh, this iMac that I'm using right now is not connected to Wi-Fi, as you can see if I go to my top right, you can see that my Wi-Fi is turned off. So it is currently uh, using AirDrop through Ethernet. Now, the huge advantage that I've noticed of using AirDrop through Ethernet is that it uh, finds other devices much, much faster. Sometimes uh, when I had to communicate between my iMac and my MacBook uh, through only Wi-Fi, it sometimes took like a minute or two to actually find uh, my laptop and Ethernet is practically instant. So. Uh, that is the advantage of using it through Ethernet, in my opinion. Of course, uh, the other advantage is that you don't uh, need to every time turn on your Wi-Fi if you want to use AirDrop. So that's how to use AirDrop through an Ethernet connection. Once again, if you do want to share through AirDrop uh, to another Mac that is connected through the Internet, you have to do this as well on that Mac. So be sure to uh, do exactly what we just did, copy paste the code uh, on in terminal and press enter, and that should be uh, it. So hopefully this helps some of you guys that are using AirDrop. I think it's a pretty cool feature to quickly share things, especially if you are a student or in university and you want to quickly share uh, certain files between uh, people in a room. It's actually really, really uh, handy to use this feature. It's quite fast as well. So uh, once again, I'll thank you a lot for watching and I'll see you guys later. Peace.